Hello, welcome to another mailbox. Let's see what I've got here. Okay, I know what it is. I can recognize the shape. Yay! Bunch of male banana plugs. Let's crank it open. Now these plugs are quite inexpensive. Uh, I think this whole pack is maybe two dollars or less. Of course, including shipping. And they're yeah, just standard, I think, four millimeter plugs with uh, uh, screw type terminal and also the like the top off so you can connect it you can connect something like this also and uh, I want to use it maybe with my power supply this one doesn't have the screw type terminals that I can use to, you know, uh, connect wire to like free wire, something like this. Uh, but these ones, if I take it apart, it's just usual stuff. Maybe I'm boring you with this, but anyhow, it is new for me. Instead of having a screw type terminal here, I can just um, you know screw the wire in uh, in this thing and tap it off if I want to measure something like, uh, directly on the power supply side without losses in the cable and so on and so on. Of course, I can use it with my multimeter as well. So yeah, you never have enough of banana plugs. Okay, actually, let's put a couple of these on the end of this cable. This is uh, actually speaker cable, but it is... Uh, yeah, it has some, uh, some cross-section. I believe it is better than these power cables from, you know, from China, in any case. They are better, so let's use this, my new, it is the first use of my new cable strippers, general purpose cable tool. So adjust this thing. Uh, I'm not too sure still how to adjust it properly, which one is for thicker cable, which one is for thinner cable, but anyhow, yeah, let's say this length, eh, a bit longer. All right, it's stripped nicely, no loose wires. It's too long, of course, but let me do it like this. This thing wrong side, of course. Let's go.
the professionals use all this time I'm using to connect one pair of wire they will you know just get out of business Okay, now I have a nice cable, or two of them, and I can combine them like this and plug it all around and still I have more banana plugs to make even more of them nice and I usually keep the cutoffs of the cable like this and no don't even think about making or mending of fuses with this let's see this one it's nicely padded I cannot feel there is something here, but mostly I cannot feel uh, anything what is inside and I will not read the label it's better like this oh, we see some cables, okay, yeah it's another thing every lab must have bunch of alligator clip cables There is what? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 10 pairs of them, I think, something like that. I cannot be bothered to count it exactly. So it's just, you know, alligator clip. It's not your best quality, but it always comes in handy. Wires, banana clips, alligator clips. Yeah, you gotta have, have them all, and as many as possible. Next one is a very light package, padded envelope, and some foamy thing inside. And it's like nothing is inside. I have no idea. This thing is some classic. Unfortunately, my shitty equipment doesn't allow you to see this. Maybe now it's a little bit better if it focus. Okay. So it is 741 op amps. Beautiful. Real classic, almost like 555s. This set of five pieces costs only one dollar or maybe a little bit more, one and a half dollar. I don't remember exactly, so you don't have any excuse not to have at least a bunch of them. Here is another very, it's rather big and very light and foamy inside so I don't I cannot guess by that thing alone oh. all right I don't think this needed uh, so much padding and these are these clips springy clips hooks for probing stuff and I don't know maybe you can also use it to apply uh, power to some things and uh, of course to inject signals so how does this thing work let's see okay you pull it out hmm. all right I have to solder the wires here 
in order to use it and it's a little bit mm, fragile thing yep. Yep. there's this contact and the spring is inside so yeah it's just uh, you know cheap thing from China so you cannot expect it to be I don't know okay this, <laughs> this one is half broken but I'll use it as a reference to put this one together so anyway I will not bother you with this yeah I don't think you can use it maybe okay let's see okay most of them are like this yeah I just wanted to check you cannot use it to put a wire here and uh, this thing doesn't clip the wire of course because it will fall out when you clip it down there and so on so you have to take it apart solder your wires you need assemble it and yeah start probing or whatever you want to do with this so yeah just this pack costs i don't know also small money i buy these things as cheap as possible and it's um, you know for this for one dollar you just cannot afford not to have them in your laboratory they come in very handy sometimes especially you know for 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 everything for for measuring uh, on board stuff and so on and so on and so on or for injecting signals maybe applying some po power low power to to some parts and yeah very nice thing to have and in case you were wondering, yes, I managed to assemble it without breaking it. So, beautiful. And let's see this one. And it is padded, of course, with the foam you saw before. And I kind of think I know what this is. Let's see if I'm right. And I was wrong. Uh, what this is, is a USB programming cable for um, HT or um, handheld transceiver radios. This, uh, this is called Kenwood type connector, but also you can use it for Chinese Baofeng radios so yes I want to go back to amateur radio and I think this uh, new Chinese Baofengs will be nice to have to examine and to play with they are very cheap inexpensive so they are good for experimenting but yeah they are also good quality uh, this is the cable to program them most of them you can program it using built-in uh, keyboard and display and menu, menu system and so on but it's much easier to just do it on the PC plus you have the backup copy of everything you did and there is uh, some Chinese software included also probably this is a uh, Baofeng software but you can there is some open source or is it open source anyway some universal software third-party software called chirp that uh, everybody's or most of the people is using to program those radios so yeah we will see it when i get my radio how it works and what it does so yeah bunch of beautiful and inexpensive stuff this whole bunch is maybe five dollars or less so you just uh, don't have any excuse not to have them in your laboratory